I don't understand how you're doing that. I guess it helps that there's some overcast. Nice, having the overcast. Still, just like last week, too hot to really do anything out here that's not going to potentially hurt the plants other than prune. I'm not, we're not pruning plants in two different videos. I'd never put y'all through that. The drip is, believe it or not, working just fine. Just 103, I think is what the sensor said on the table. No, it got up to 107 today. That was, I mean, the pavement wasn't 107 in St. Louis. It was just, yeah. They're so sad and thirsty, but the soil's moist. You know, I've been going through and popping my fingers and nothing's bone dry. I can keep watering, but there's not really a point when the soil's nice and moist. It just is what it is. It's summer and the summer stuff is happening. That's just the way it goes out here. There were a few things that I did want to get done this week, but with this heat, I'm just thinking, nah. Although tomorrow I'm supposed to have a package coming that should have the rest of the pieces I need to reroute a drip system for this entire bed from right here all the way back to that corner and around so that the entire garden bed is programmed onto drip. Right now it's just the potted plants and then some of the gingers and some of the bananas, but I mean, you saw those in patients. They're very thirsty. And I've been using the tele, that's the tripod. The telescoping sprinkler works great, but it would be more efficient to have a drip set up over there. So that'll show up. We'll get that done. After seeing that forecast from Dana Point, San Clemente, whatever, and then some of y'all in Southern California commented and you're like, yes, really is a beautiful, magical place. Congratulations. Really, you know, near the coast, cooler weather. I was thinking, you know, I need to, I need to get the fuck out of here. Just for a few days, get to the coast, see some different plants, relax, and just do some stuff out that way and get back. Maybe the weather will be better. I don't think it will. Looks like it's going to be just hot as heck all week long. So that's my plan for the week. Set up some drip, go out of town for a few days. Sound like fun? I don't know how much there's gonna be as far as the out-of-town stuff footage-wise, but I'll do my best. Okay, it's the next day, or day and a half later. I actually ended up having nearly a full day of rain. It was fantastic. So nice. Careful what you wish for, though. I got bored sitting in the house. So what I'm doing now, just trying to get some last-minute things done before leaving because the forecast is supposed to stay really dry. Temperatures are a little, little bit better. Almost lost my mouth there, but still bone dry so I want to make sure everything stays watered. I have a timer here to set up another drip with. I need to run drip on this bed right here that goes around to the driveway. I think I have enough tubing to pull it off. I'm not positive. I'm gonna have to. I don't have time to uh, run to the store or do anything else. I went to the store yesterday and grabbed a few drip pieces. I had ordered these right here. This is what I like to use. Really these are what I like to use. But we'll get to that for micro irrigation. So it's not necessarily drip, but micro irrigation meaning that you have raised sprayers that will do a larger area in the garden bed. And I had gotten these off of Amazon. This one right here does a 360 pattern. So you might be able to see on here, maybe. Come on, there we go. Nope, oh, had it, there it is. All those tiny little holes. So that will spray out like a fan with little, little streams of water in all directions. You can adjust the flow rate with this knob right here, and then it has this tube that comes off right there. You just cut this piece, and that will snap right into the half-inch line that goes into the timer. These Rainbird ones that I ordered, I don't, I guess I shouldn't say I don't like them because I haven't used them. The tubing that's on here, the quarter-inch tubing, it feels very um, crappy. It feels really junky, like a material that I, if this sits in the sun, like it's just gonna crack. It really feels like it's not going to last very long or if it doesn't get put away in the winter time, it's very, very stiff, not very pliable. So I'm not crazy about those. That's why I ran to the, oh, there goes my lens cap. And that's why I ran to the hardware store yesterday and grabbed some of the emitters that I really do prefer. These right here. The only difference with these is you have to put your own head on them, but that's okay. That's advantageous because it gives you more options of things to work with or ways to customize things. There's the large circle sprayers. It's these little green pieces right here with the piece in the middle that spins and that just screws right into this top piece right there. Again, you just adjust it with this right here. And this is a fitting like a little coupler that goes between this piece and the top right there and then you poke a hole in your half inch tubing and that snaps right in there. 
place it where you need it to go. The uh, large circle spinners, I believe, do a 10 foot, 10 to 12 foot. I, that's very generous. I don't think that that's true. I've never noticed them doing a space that big before, but my water pressure sucks. Maybe that has something to do with it. I also got some of the small ones that do a smaller circle. This is five to seven foot because there are going to be some areas over in here where things are closer together and I don't need anywhere near as much of a spray. And I'm really glad that I grabbed a bag of these which are half circle, 180 degree fan micro sprays. So the nice thing about these is if I have to, which I think I may have to, just run the half inch tubing along the outer perimeter of the garden and then I can put the stakes in at the front of the garden bed and just have the fans that will spray up into the garden. Not ideal, but this is just, just piecemealing it together, right? You gotta work with what you have. These are very narrow planting beds, so I don't necessarily need things that will go way out and have a far reach with the exception of that corner where the cannas are. I'm going to handle this. <laughs> Hopefully I have everything I need. That's always the fun thing about drip. Although I did realize that I'm going to need a tea because things go off and all the, here we go, okay. That's why I always buy a few extra pieces when getting the drip supplies, you'll end up needing them. So there's the tea and then do I have end pieces? There are these little loops. You put over the ends, you bend them to snap them together. I don't know if I have any of those if I don't, then I think zip ties would work just fine. Also, I have a more organized system. I have like a little toolbox inside the cabinet over there with all the little pieces in there. This is just my newest materials that I got for a different, but it doesn't matter. I know it looks like a mess, but I generally know what's in this piece right here. The toolboxes and the things that are organized are just lots of little fittings. All right, I'm going to see what I can get done over here. I have the tubing laying out on the patio in the sun that helps make it more pliable and bendable. And when we come back, hopefully there will be irrigation running over here hopefully you know, hopefully very soon too i got a lot of stuff i need to do uh, you know i didn't even take into account that people might be interested in what i'm doing here i've done a lot of stuff with drip on the channel so i will try and remember to link those videos down below if not if you just type in tropical plant party drip irrigation the stuff will come up if i forget so okay what was i talking about drip i didn't have the end pieces which are just it's like two loops that are kind of like this. You slide one end through one piece and then you bend it and slide it through the other and that will clamp the end together. That's not for you. That's not for you. Hey, you're a good boy, it's not for you. So I just put a little bend in the end there to help hold it in place, put a couple zip ties on there. Don't see why that wouldn't do the same thing. I This is it. This piece right here and that over there, that's all I have tubing wise. So I'm going to have to make it work. I think that it'll be enough. Oh, this end might be kind of short. The way just gotta make it happen. So to get this started, I'm gonna get the T put in right there. No, 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 that's not how this works. Hold on. Forgot, needed to get the T started. So this is what's going to go into the timer, which will go in over by the, you know, the hose where the irrigation happens. This piece right here will go like that and connect to this, just like that. And that's the start of everything. And then this piece of hose right here is gonna hook into that end. This piece over here will hook in to the other side. And I'll get the spikes, the stakes I was just showing y'all and we'll cut back to that. See how everything worked out. There we go. That's working. It does leave something to be desired. Not the most attractive way to run your irrigation, but it's gonna have to do because this is very last minute. I have two 180s set up in here. One right there, another one right there, and that's has a nice fan spray to it that's going up on that slope there. The slope might be hard to see, but there's a slope there. I have a small circle spinner back here inside of the gingers. Jeez, yeah, you can see it. And I put another one here inside this banana clump. Should keep all those nice and happy. Out of concerns for water pressure, I yet didn't end up putting a drip per ginger clump. Like I had planned on doing that, but I just don't think I have the pressure. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Oh, I'm enjoying that. That's, that's enough to keep me distracted for a long time. But that is doing a pretty good radius. I'm not a fan of the water going directly into the crowns of the palms that are right here, these little dwarf palmettos. But if there was a palm that can take it, it's probably these and I can in just four, four and a half days when I get home, I can make adjustments if necessary. The air is supposed to be really dry, low humidity, so that shouldn't be an issue. And uh, even though I wasn't able to get a drip to each clump 
each one of the gingers and directly through those cannas back there, the ground is sloped. So as long as there's moisture up high, it should work its way down and disperse itself to the other plants. I also got a, another large circle spinner set up here inside of this banana clump. I thought about doing one on this clump as well, but this has one in it. It's just kind of buried. I can't, I'm not getting in there. We have wasps. I've talked about it multiple times. There are a lot of wasps in here. There's somebody coming out to handle that, but not until next week. So I'm not, I'm not doing anything that requires much detail in there. <laughs> when I put the drip back inside that one, made sure to empty my pockets. No electronics in case I had to make a dash to get in the pool because the nest is somewhere in that area where I had to hop in and run the line. Pretty simple. Not much to it. And uh, it's not the most attractive thing, but it'll do. I can bury it under the gravel some when I get back. My main thing is just that it was up and running. This should be enough to make sure that everything stays watered well. I have it set to run for 30 minutes twice a day. That was the other problem, is that I have so much drip out here. I have, well, you see this timer right here that has the four pieces on it? I have three of those plus one that has one and then another one that has two. Around 15. Not all of them are set up and running. There are a couple that I had to shut off because the the little manifold that's inside those things that stopped working. Regardless, with the heat and the dry air, I have it set to run for a long time, so I had to find a time when I could run this other zone where it's not going to overlap with another zone because then there's not enough water pressure. The other zones are running four times a day, and this one will only be twice, but the other zones, a lot of them go to pots, get dried a lot faster. This should be good. I'm running it for half an hour right now just so I can get an idea of if that's even necessary or if I need to do more. That's, I think that's where this ends. I'm done, that's enough. There's enough sun over here. And now I can get the table cleaned off. It's been bugging me for a while. I fertilized this morning, so it was cooler outside. And that's the last of the drip projects for right now. <sighs> okay, gonna clean up, pack a bag, get out of town. What you looking for? What's over there? Buddy, you wanna say hi? Hey buddy, how you doing? No one's seen you in a while. You've been around a while, have you? Oh, uh, he's looking for lizards. That's probably, he's hunting. Go walk around, get some exercise, enjoy the fresh air. It's so much easier to breathe out here. I'm on the coast, east coast. Not too far from the water, I mean, you can't tell. The air smells salty and it's so much more fresh and easy to breathe and the, everything is just beautiful. There are crepe myrtles everywhere. That one's not the best. Sorry, sis. You see this video. That's not your fault though. They just moved in. They didn't plant that one. Could just use a little tidying. Purple Martin house. Look at this. I'm such a proud brother right now. <laughs> Their first garden. Uh, zucchini in there. There were three zooks in there. Got pulled yesterday. She was so excited. It was a lot of fun to see someone like harvest for the first time. We all get so much joy from growing our own fruits and veggies and 
that first time you get to pull food off. It was neat to get to see that. It's nice, big, healthy zucchini and some rosemary and basil. Tomato plants that got destroyed by hornworms. That was, okay, sibling moment. I get a text with a picture of a caterpillar. My sister's like, what's this? It's cute. Or what is this weird thing? And I said, that's a hornworm. It's going to destroy your plants. She goes, oh, it's going to eat them? I was like, yes, it will totally devour them. And then a week later, she sends me this picture. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do. But... Here we are. I think this has been two weeks since. It's coming back. Looks like it could use some pruning, but looking pretty good. I'm so proud right now. Look at this magnolia. Isn't that just beautiful? They are so much prettier when they're growing in a place where it's just like five degrees warmer than where I live. Back in St. Louis, they still get pretty, but they can get more leggy. They don't hold their form quite as well. Just a nice looking plant. Only here for a few days. I'm gonna go to the botanicals though, the Smithsonian Botanicals. Probably not gonna talk much, but I'll have the camera out and look at some plants. I think that'd be fun. Smithsonian Botanicals is a really nice one. Look around DC a little bit, maybe. I don't know, I'm more into the coast part of things right now, or the bay. The bay's over here. And I didn't, I totally forgot to bring my mic pack, so I hope you've been able to hear anything I've been saying. It's another reason, probably. Won't be doing much talking at the botanicals. Put some music over it. Maybe I'll talk. I don't know. We'll see. Get to see some plants and some things. You ready to go, buddy? We can come inside. You can't come with us. I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry. <laughs> I figure, I know I was here to show you the plants, but since we're here, there's, here's things. If you haven't been here before, the things, the capital, but it's not a thing, it's a big deal. Just clarifying that, trying to be disrespectful, just hot and ready to go look at some plants. Big leaves. See that? Humidity, moist air, dew points. So nice. I've been enjoying the dry heat at home though, but just not the amount of water everything's been eating. Buddy, where'd you go? So much fun hanging out with Buddy. Love this dog. Never in my life seen a dog that sheds this much though. Oh, buddy, so much hair. Smithsonian was fun. Lots of neat stuff in there. It's already 
time to go trip didn't film that much of it filmed as much as i could while still being able to enjoy and take it all in mostly you know if there were plants i tried to get a camera well buddy this hair it's really like i can't why is there so much hair he's on bunny patrol he likes to sit up here and he just scans the yard looks for the rabbits never catches them he's pretty good at looking out for them though it's a nice planter isn't it just threw some lantana in here don't know what kind no euphorbia i'm so proud of her look she kept the tag hip-hop hip-hop euphorbia I think that that's a 12 to 24 inch, so it's just gonna be a big bush of nice white stuff on there. Years ago, I gave my sister a cactus pad for her to put in her garden. Here it is. It hasn't been planted yet. It's still growing. If I had more time, I would, I'd handle that. I'm not going to, because you know those things with the little hairs that you get, the little like spiky things. Also, isn't it funny how some more siblings can be like, we have a lot of the same paint colors in our home, just out of coincidence, and we have the same stickers off of Amazon. The, no communication there, we just happen to see them and go, oh yeah, we need those. See? Family. Always doing things somewhere. Hey, Turbs. Oh, I miss you too, baby. Such a sweetheart. You miss me? Maybe? You're not sure? That's fine. Wasn't gone all that long. Hi, Cosmo. Hey. It is nice to be back. Though the irony was that go out of town and avoid the heat. Really just wanted some fresher air and come home to like record breaking heat. And the drip, not the new system that got set up at the beginning of the video, but the ones that have been running all summer flawlessly. Well, one of those systems failed. The car dropped me off from the airport and I spent about three and a half hours outside working on that. Pretty sure it's fixed. I don't think anything's dead. Well, you know, there's a garden tour coming up, so that'll be more fun, I think. So it'll be, by the time that video comes out, two weeks that pass from the beginning of this video to next weekend's video. It'll be two weeks. Get to see more growth that way. And then we can talk about maybe what didn't didn't survive the extremely hot week of plants not being watered. Actually, I don't think anything's dead. It's like, there are a couple things I'm like, uh, eh, I don't know, maybe, but... Keep them hydrated and see what happens. And the high today is like 104. Not gonna be doing any filming outside. Hey, Tobes. Hey, baby Toby. How you doing, baby? Missed you, Toby. <laughs> I had a great time. It's nice getting out, getting some fresh air, doing the fun travel things. I'll fill in the gaps of everything that went on while I was gone in another video. I was thinking the botanical gardens, that would be a good video for it to just have its own thing because there's like i have over 200 clips that need to be sorted out i don't know why i was thinking that i could get back in town at two o'clock on a friday and somehow have that magically edited into a video for saturday no but you'll get to see it probably in the video after this one comment down below say hi i hope everybody's doing well having a great day and a great life and everything's just going absolutely beautifully for you hi turbo he wants to go outside and swim so bad i do too actually i haven't been in that pool in about four days i miss it need to get down there get some laps done oh and i was in dc but Annapolis Bay Area. I don't announce those things when I'm going because why you would tell the world that you're not home seems like a bad idea. That's so why I wasn't posting much on social media about it either. So if you're seeing things coming up on Instagram after you know that I'm home, it's because I wait till I'm home to post the things from being out of town. It's just an internet safety thing. Well, usually, not always. It's always fun to keep everybody on their toes. All right, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Hey, Cosmo. Bye-bye.